Here's a little tip for when you're putting your edge tapes on your uh, aircraft after you've covered the wings, or in this case, I've got one of the ailerons. On the bottom side, I'm on the bottom side of the wing here, or the aileron, and the edge of the tape is uh, a little bit frayed. So what I did was I, I've coated it with some of the U500 cement, okay, and I've let that dry. Then I'm going to take my tape and lay it down flat. I'll take a straight edge, and I'm going to line that up right with the edge of where I want that tape to be cut off so that I'm following a predetermined line that I've already put in here prior to cover, prior to putting it on. Now I just take my scissors and carefully trim Once you get the scissors started, you don't have to squeeze them. You just push them through the fabric because that glue has dried and it's welded all the edges together and it allows you to get a nice straight cut without any problems or strings coming off. Now I'll take my iron, which is preheated here to 200 degrees, just work off the ends and lay that over flat like that. And it's going to develop, as you can see, an edge. Now I can take and work that back up, just pull it up here like this, and put a fresh coat of glue down there. And then push my fabric over and use the brush to push the glue up through the fabric. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to let that dry. I'll let it dry in, until it's nice and dry. Because when it's completely dried and cured, now there's a couple of wrinkles here. But after it's dry, you can take your iron setting at about 200 degrees and just iron those wrinkles. They will come out just as flat, and you don't get a whole lot of glue on the bottom of your iron. So that's all there is to it. Just a little tip. Thank you.